We have promised you all morning that the newest Piston would join us, Spencer Dinwiddie, the second round pick of the Detroit Pistons, standing by live from Orlando in the Summer League. We're going to ask him all about playing time, that ACL. When will, he be, NBA, when, when will he, he be ready, ready to make yeah. his debut? Yeah. But first, Spencer, welcome for, thank you for joining us. Welcome into the cave. And first of all, what was draft night like for you and hearing your name picked? Well, I mean, draft night was great. You know, I was at my house with about, you know, 20 of my close family and, and friends. And, you know, we were just waiting. We knew I was going to get my name called. We didn't know where. And, you know, when the Pistons finally selected me at 38, you know, it was, it was a lot of excitement in the room. We know you were rehabbing a little bit earlier today, Spencer. Can you just give us an update on where things stand with your knee and, and how long it is before you expect to be on the court and contributing this, this year? Uh, I mean, the coaches said that I can't give a uh, timetable, but I mean, rehab's going great. You know, I, I don't really have any movement restrictions. I'm doing, you know, a lot of things and, and I'm on the court, stuff like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it, but the coach said I can't give an exact timeline. Spencer, you're a first-round talent. Everybody would say that when healthy. Why'd you come out after your junior year when you'd accomplished so much and yet you had the ACL injury? Well, because I felt like, you know, being able to pour everything into my knee um, was, was, a, was a big factor for me. You know, I, I obviously, you know, I rehabbed hard to get to the point where I'm at, you know, before I even got into the draft and got selected. But, you know, being able to just have my knee be my job you know it, it's a different level of focus and a different level of training that I was able to partake in you know now that I'm not in school anymore when you look back at draft and the whole process of where people fell and where it went through and where you're ending up do you feel like this is a good situation for you to get some playing time when you look at the roster when you've talked to this coaching staff how much do you see yourself in this lineup on an everyday basis if and when you get back uh, I mean I think it's an excellent opportunity you know I haven't played with you know, the other point guards on the roster and, you know, BJ and and uh, Will Bynum and, and Siva. But, you know, I do bring something a little bit different in, in my height and in my stature. And, you know, I, I definitely see an opportunity to be able to play, you know, as soon as uh, they clear me. And, and that's great. And other than that, you know, Arnie is one of the best in the business. And having him look after my knee, I think it's, you know, a perfect situation. Hey, who was your guy growing up in California as a bigger point guard? Who was the guy that you tried to model your game after? Um, you're, you're probably expecting Magic Johnson, but you know, I, I never really modeled my game after anybody. My favorite player growing up was was far and away Kobe Bryant, and um, that's the guy you know I kind of looked up to, even though you know our games aren't really similar at all. But that was uh, my favorite player growing up. But some would say your game's a little like Anthony Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Is that a fair comparison? Yeah. Uh, I think that's very valid. You know, I think I favor the three. Um, a little bit more than he did, and he favored the post-up actually a little bit more than I do. But, you know, I think that's a, a fairly good comparison as far as, you know, versatility, length, being able to run the one in a 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, type frame, and, and, you know, being big enough to kind of guard multiple positions. I think the Pistons would love a guy if they had a guy like yeah. Penny, right? Penny in his prime? No doubt. Yeah. We've got a question from Twitter here. Uh, what it, could you bring to the Pistons that is different than everybody else? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, like I, like I said before, the other point guards on the roster are, are not as big as I am. And, you know, I definitely favor the three. You know, I, like I said, I don't know their games in detail, but I know that I'm bigger than they are, and I like to shoot threes probably a little bit more than they do. So, you know, that along with defensive versatility with my size and my frame are things that I think that I bring to the roster that are different than, you know, the other guys at my position. That was from Regicide Greg, by the way, at Regicide Greg. So thanks for the question, Greg. Hey, Spencer, real quick, how do you view Detroit? As a California guy, and then you go to Colorado and play, how do you view the Pistons organization? We, growing up here, know, you know the tradition that it's had. Stan Van Gundy's talked about the tradition. What about you from the outside? How did you view it? Um, I always viewed it as, you know, guys that, that played really hard and did whatever it took to win, and I think I, I fit that mold. Um, other than that, you know, it's not like I was a Pistons fan growing up because you guys like to beat my Lakers. So, you know, I, <laughs> I wasn't exactly happy with that all the time. Spencer, the comparisons, Penny Hardaway, the dreams. It's great to see everything accomplished for you. We wish you was be the best in recovering from that ACL tear. And uh, have some fun down there in Orlando with all those great guys around you. Thank you. I will. I will. Spencer Dinwiddie joining us live from Orlando in the Summer League. Pistons second round draft pick. Thanks again for the Pistons setting that up and everything. Good. It's good, good kid. Impressive good head on kid. His shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Especially coming out of that ACL tear. No doubt. Good stuff.